Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. I'm so glad to have you here with me today as we study God's Word. We're looking at verses 11 and 12 in uh, Psalm 33. So if you have your Bible open there, let's just um, get our get our place and come on in here to the Bible Bistro. Goodness sakes, come on in. Sit down here with me. Open your Bible up and if you want something to drink or to snack on while we study, that's fine too. Just don't, you know, just don't get it on the floor. Uh, you, you want to keep the Bible Bistro as clean as we can now. So, Verses 11 and 12, we have some good material here today. Another one of those Beatitudes or blessing statements here in the psalm. And we're going to read that in verse 12, and I'll comment on that here in just a minute. So let me read for you, if you have your Bible open, let me read for you verses 11 and 12. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. So you see the that the counsel of the Lord stands. Now, we just said that something else stands, right? He spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast there in verse 9. Well, what, was he, what were they talking about then? Well, we're talking about created order. He's done that because he spake it into existence. When he spoke, everything happened just as he said it was going to happen. Well, now, instead of the word of the Lord or the the creative word of the Lord standing forever or those things that he created by his word standing forever. Now we're talking about his counsel standing forever. And we just had this word counsel in verse 10. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught, but his counsel stands forever. So he brings to an end the counsel of the heathen. That's going to find its find its natural conclusion, and the Lord will bring it to an end. But his counsel, but it never comes to an end. And then we have the the parallel here in, in in part B of this 11th verse, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. So his counsel is the thoughts of his heart. And where do we find the thoughts of his heart? Where do we find his counsel? Where do we read about his word? that spoke, and it was done, and commanded, and it stood fast. Where do we find the record of all of that? We find it here in God's Word, in the Bible. And so we have the created order recounted for us in Genesis chapters 1 and 2. We have his counsel for living life given to us, you know, in all of the Scripture. His counsel about the past his counsel about the future, his counsel about how we should live our life, his counsel about the coming of the Messiah, his counsel about the future of the church, his counsel about all those things, his counsel about holiness and righteousness and judgment and justice. All of that is revealed in the pages of the Scripture. He's given all of that to us. And you notice it says, to all generations. Do you know why we are standing here, well, I'm, I'm sitting actually, sitting in front of a microphone. But do you know why we're doing that? We're doing it because his thoughts, the thoughts of his heart, reaches all generations. And because we're doing that in 2022, as I make this recording, this is a fulfillment of verse 11. And when somebody is recording or preaching or speaking or writing or teaching the word of God, 2,200 years in the future, we can still say that the thoughts of his hearts are going to reach all generations because it's forever. This council stands forever. It's never going to go away. God has intended it to last. And then we have the blessing in verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Last week, we talked about these beatitudes in the Psalms. These statements that are blessed, blessed is, blessed are, blessed be. So these statements, we have 16 psalms that contain them. Now there's more than 16 of these beatitudes in the psalms, but there are 16 psalms that contain them. 
Psalm 33 is the fourth of these psalms. Psalm 34, which we'll see in two weeks, is the fifth of these 16 psalms. And we'll see a, a beatitude or a blessing there. And this one is given to the nation. You know, in, in Psalm 2, it was all those who trust him. Well, here it's blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? What a great blessing. What a wonderful blessing. And the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. So if you're part of the chosen nation, if you're a member of the elect, then ladies and gentlemen, you have this blessing as well. All right, well, join me again next week. We'll begin in verse 13, and we'll study all the way down to verse 22 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.